Hi. Today I'm going to talk about a question that I have come across on the question answer website Quora on quant finance, which is that is quant finance dying? This question was asked by someone a couple of years back, and many people uh, have responded to that question. If you want to go through that uh, thread, you may. So I thought of uh, clarifying. Uh, my own opinion about this question some of you who are considering a career in quant finance may have this question i thought of making a video on that to clarify my view uh, on this particular question the answer to this question is that no it is not dying in fact it is thriving like never before there is uh, more demand for quants uh, like we have seen never before for a variety of reasons actually uh, well the finance world has always been very quantitative it's nothing new uh, you know people have been using uh, modeling techniques mathematical modeling techniques in uh, various areas of finance whether it's investment whether it is you know uh, pricing assets uh, valuation of assets uh, insurance, you know, in many areas, uh, you know, actuaries have been working in the insurance field. I don't know how for how many decades now, right? So it is not a surprise that this field is growing and only growing with time. So there is no reason why this is a dying field. Uh, you know, any field of finance, you will see there will be use of uh, uh, quants. You know, people who are good in mathematics uh, have understanding of financial markets and can write code, right? So there is no reason why uh, this it, this field will die ever, simply because um, this field is very quantitative, very mathematical in nature. Without numbers, without data, you simply cannot do finance, any finance, uh, right? But it has changed. From 2008 crisis, things have changed in this field. Before 2008, uh, a lot of the banks were doing um, derivatives lot of derivative work so there was a need of quants who were good in stochastic calculus who could uh, price uh, derivative different types of derivative assets but uh, the market really you know crashed uh, and uh, a lot of the bank incurred losses uh, because of this derivative instruments uh, even the clients you know um, incurred losses and derivative business became less popular after 2008 and because of which, you know, the number of quants who were hired in the derivative space, that number has stagnated or hasn't grown at a good space uh, like before, right? But there was a need of uh, quants in other areas, right? People having skills in machine learning, statistics, uh, you know, in, in areas such as, you know, people who, could, who, who can do uh, simulations, people who can build um, Markov chain models. So these uh, skills were uh, are still quite in demand, right? Um, <coughs> so the, 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 the workforce has changed. Uh, it, it used to be mostly uh, PhDs with good in uh, mathematics and theoretical physics, uh, computer science, economics, econometrics, but things have changed now even without a PhD, you can easily get into uh, quant finance. Uh, as long as you, are uh, you have the knowledge, you have skills in different areas of quant finance, you can write code, you know mathematical modeling, and you have understanding of financial markets banking. Uh, in fact, there are more number of non-PhD who are ent entering this field nowadays compared to the PhD. It was completely different before 2008. Without a PhD, PhD it was very difficult to enter into this field. Most people who used to work in this field used to be PhDs in, in some quantitative field. But things have changed uh, since then. There were not many quant finance programs before 2008. Uh, but now you see have so many quant finance, financial engineering programs uh, in, U in the US university, in European universities. So that has changed, uh, right? So these are some of the changes that have happened. But... Uh, the demand for quants is only increasing over time simply because uh, for a variety of reasons, right? The investment world is now using computers like never before. 
and the collecting all kinds of data and analyzing the data so even you know the the funds which are not so quantitative even they are using lot of quantitative modeling right simple modeling techniques may not be very sophisticated one but they want people who are good with numbers who are understanding of mathematics understanding of financial markets can write code it's a very good combination right you know the best of both uh you know you can you can uh, really write code but also have good understanding of the world of finance that's a rare combination you won't find many people who are good in both and if you can also write code and communicate well and and talk to the front office people then uh, <coughs> your skills will always be in demand i remember asking this question to mr aswad dambadaran so i was uh, editor of a magazine in, in, in university and uh, we, we did an interview of uh, the great uh, finance professor um, of new york university aswad damodar he is not a uh, quant finance professor but he is known for valuations uh, and he has his own youtube channel you can check that out i asked him this question that uh, uh, will quantitative finance become or sorry will finance become non quantitative because quants were blamed for the financial crisis um because if people felt the models really didn't work that time and uh, there was question mark um in front of the models that models people don't understand more complicated models they keep on using that and and you know that is uh, causing a lot of issue and asked this question how do you say this what he, he told me was that um that people with uh, mathematical and financial skill they will always be in demand because things might change but um it will take a different shape different form but uh, you still need quantitative people to to work on this problem it's just that the techniques that you used to use in the past may be uh, changed and that has happened actually you know la- now you see you know uh, we have challenger models for every single model that you build it's not just theoretical models the more academic models which are used people also build challenger models for benchmarking purpose back testing has become much more important uh, aspect of modeling compared to what it used to be uh, in the past okay so uh, all that has changed but the number the demand for the quants uh, has only increased over time you know you have more number of quant funds nowadays compared to you know decade back right even in india right i see a number of quant uh, funds now that um right and there is a growing interest of people you know investing in this quant fund or trusting this quant funds so in the in the private investment uh, area the demand for quant has increased quite dramatically banks are regulated um, more these days compared to they used to be a decade back or uh, before 2008 financial crisis they are under huge regulatory pressure to build models for number of things for for capital calculation for provision calculation for stress testing for compliance assessment for different audit aspects for uh for acceptance for pricing um, special asset management so on so forth for all these activity you need quant finance people right quants uh and they're hiring in big numbers so if if you go through um you know various uh, you know job sites and just do a search about quant finance uh, just you know quants or modeling or risk modeling quantitative finance quantitative analyst you will see the number of jobs of course these jobs are located in some financial centers you won't find these jobs everywhere in the world in india you will find them either in mumbai or bangalore and if you uh in chennai and, and hyderabad but also in gurgaon nowadays good noida gurgaon where uh, in europe you will find in mostly in amsterdam you know and uh, london and frankfurt and paris uh, zurich in these places in us in new york chicago in these places uh, dubai as well singapore you know uh, so there hong kong so but the demand hasn't decreased as such uh, there is always a demand and always been a demand and and it is only growing uh, over time okay uh, in fact i was reading uh, a news item a uh, couple of days back a lot of the good ai talent are, no, uh, are now leaving the tech industry and joining the quant funds because of the money being offered uh, i'm not sure if if uh, they will be successful there because they have 
there have been some attempts to you know poach ai talent machine learning talent in the past from tech industry to work in the investment industry and many people had uh, uh, didn't succeed many people really failed at it so we haven't seen the ai ai magic in the financial world in the world of banking and finance we have seen that in other fields in other areas of business to some extent but uh, not yet so much in the in the field of finance uh, not sure if anybody will be able to crack the code that you know using ai you can you can outperform others some firms have uh, been able to do that renaissance technology is 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 one which has got a amazing track record of uh, having uh, you know amazing performance over the years for many many years now over a couple of decades already but you know that's an exception and you know it it's found that jim simon has accepted that they they do use some machine learning techniques but these techniques are very simple not like deep learning and all i think they probably use some linear regression and decision tree combining some of these models in in some sort of assembling but the focus is more about collecting data rather than building some fancy models modeling is perhaps you know somewhat secondary you know to be able to generate data and creating good features is perhaps the you know the most important part of uh, the model building process anywhere in the world but certainly in those forms and mr jim simon has also talked about it that okay the last point is about why there is so much of demand nowadays for quants is also because a lot of the fintechs are hiring quants if you go to london you will find i think uh, 30 to 40% of the quants uh, uh, quant jobs advertised on job sites are in the fintech area right there fintech is is the most funded um, sector in in the in in the startup world uh, i think in many countries S- certainly in india but also in 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 uk and and few european countries us as well and they need lot of people uh, who have good quant skills so they have a lot, lot of quants actually but the quant in fintech uh the profile is bit different in fact is quite different very similar to a data science role but uh, of course you need to have domain knowledge in that area and then we can also loosely say that's a a quant finance profile okay uh quants are also needed nowadays in non traditional role for example in family offices in vc firm private equity as well there are also people hire quants to work in those places consulting related activities related to quant Uh, has increased leap and bounds uh, 15 20 years back mckinsey was not doing quant, quant consulting but now it is doing so is bcg and and other big consulting firms um the big four consulting firms like ey kpmg and all even they are hiring uh, quants in large number um primarily for regulatory modeling dev work but also <coughs> uh for other kinds of quant uh, quant activities right so to summarize uh, the quant world has changed quite a lot in the last two decades it used to be very academic very research heavy uh, it has become lot more mainstream lot more applied uh, and the barrier to entry has also uh, gone down uh it used to be quite tough to break into quant finance but things have changed quite a lot now you don't even need a phd in order to get into quant finance the it has become more programming heavy that means um <coughs> if you have experience in programming for good in programming uh, i think that is perhaps one of the uh, fine skill to have as a quant um and uh, so it has changed so the field has changed but the demand for quants has only increased over time and it is continuing to increase uh and i i i strongly uh, feel that you know uh, it is the demand will only increase over time simply because finance is a very quantitative field it itself without models without data you will never be able to do any proper finance right it's impossible that you just uh, you know uh, you just um, go through the information by yourself and take a decision in the field of finance you really have to use some models now what model you use is different you could use simple models more sophisticated models but you really need to use some models and use computers to do the job for you 
decision making will never ever be just human driven in the field of finance it will be a combination of human beings as well as the models that's my view it might change mm-hmm. over time but it cannot be completely automated also that's also wrong ai cannot completely automate uh, investment decisions it will help you know human investors doing better de- taking better decisions but it will not probably never completely replace uh, investor at least we are not there yet probably in the future 100 years down the line you never know but for not now for sure all right so i wanted to share uh, my view on this question let me know what your views are in the comment section um, thanks for watching um, please like in case you want to support this channel uh, thanks and let me know also what topics you want me to talk about thanks